Hello everybody, my name's Lauren Key, I'm a SharePoint engineer and today I'm going to be teaching you how to create a list in SharePoint Online. The topics I'm going to be covering are creating a list, setting the column titles, adding the data, editing the column width, reordering the columns, deleting columns and then exporting the list into Excel. My next videos are going to show you how to format and customize this list, so do keep an eye out for those videos in the near future. So let's begin. We go to New, List, we have to name our list, so I'm going to call it Client, oops, capitals on, get rid of that, Client Records. We need to add a description, Confidential Client details. Right, we have a button here that asks us whether we want our new list which we're creating to be shown in the site navigation. In other words, do we want our list to be displayed here at the top? For this list I don't, so I'm going to turn that off. And then we're going to create our list. Okay, so here's our blank list. The purpose of this list is for the therapists of La Spa Health and Beauty to have a place where they can go and input the details that they collect from the client records form. In other words, when a customer goes, in, goes into a spa, they will fill out a piece of paper um, referring to their name, their home address, their telephone number, their um, date of birth, whether they've got any contraindications to treatment. And instead of keeping that form as it is in paper format, I want the therapist to have a place where they can go and insert this information into the list. So this is the list we're going to be building. So to begin with, we need to set our column titles. We go to the drop down arrow here, column settings, rename. The first column I'm going to call is client name. Okay. Save that. There we are. The second column I want to call home address. So when you click the down arrow here, you get a list of items to choose from. Single line of text, multiple line of text, location number, yes, no, etc. For this one, as we're going to be calling it a home address, I'm going to click single line of text, home address. Okay. Do we want to add a description? Yes. Client home address. Okay, that's just a little prompt for the therapists to know what they need to insert into that column. It's going to be a single line of text. We can click more options. We can add in whether we want to have a maximum number. 255 is plenty for a home address. Do we want this information within this co column to have required details? For a home address, I'm going to leave it as toggled on no, but you can toggle it on if you wish. Then we're going to hit save. There we go. So I've shown you option how to add a column straight from this pane here, but you can also go to quick edit and add a column in here. The next one's going to be date and time. So I'm going to call it date of birth. And then you can go to exit quick edit. And there it is. So the next column we're going to do is contraindications to treatment. I want this to be a yes no field. Contraindications to treatment. Does the client have any contraindications? Yes, no. I'm going to default the value to leave it as yes because it's important to know if the client has any allergies. 
more options. Do we require this to be a required column? I'm going to toggle it on and put yes. Add to all content types, click save. And there we have it. So I'm just going to add in the last two columns. We've got therapist. For this one, I'm going to click the person. Therapist name, personal group, allow section of groups. I don't need this to be a required field. Everything else is fine. Click save. And the last column is a date column. Um, consultation form expiry. Description, date and time. Yes, I want this to require that the column contains information. I don't want to include the time. I'm happy with the rest. Click save. And there we have it. So now what we're going to do is I've shown you how to create the list and set the column titles. We're now going to add the data. So we're going to go to new item. And this is where we're going to input our customer information. So we've got our client name. First one, Harry Potter. Home address is for Pivot Drive, Surrey. Date of birth, 1907, 31st 07, 1980. Don't need a time. Contraindications to treatment. Mm, he's got a scar on his head, so I'll click yes. Therapist is Adele. Scroll down. Consultation form expiry is going to be 06, 06, 2021. I've got the option here if I want to add any attachments. I don't. And this is a really good field. Do I want this information to be confidential? Um, retain forever in employee records? Retained for three years in personal, financial or public. I want this to be confidential. So I'm going to click save. And there we have it. We've got our first client walked through the door and their details are now saved into our um, list. I'm going to do two more just to show you. Hermione Granger, she lives at 49... Hampstead Gardens, London, date of birth, 1909-1979, you can put in a time, I'm just going to leave it blank, we don't need that, contraindications to treatment, she doesn't, her therapist's name is Adele, again, um, expiry Form contra uh, consultation form expiry. Sorry, and we want it to be confidential. Double check that. Save number two. Last one. I'm going to add in Ron. Ron Weasley. That's it. He lives at the borough. Ottery Street, Catch Paul in Devon. His date of birth is 013 1980. Doesn't have any contraindications to treatment. His therapist is Johanna. His consultation form expiry is 14.05.2020. Don't need to add any attachments. Needs to be confidential. Double check. Ron Weasley, the borough. Lovely. Save. Okay, so there we have it. I've shown you how to insert data into your list. Now, um, I've given you the option here to edit the column width. Let's have a look. I'm looking at the, the list here. I don't really like the home address. 
that's slim. So I'm going to widen it out. All you do is you hover over the line, drag it in or drag it out. Okay, that's that. If you decide later on that you don't actually like where the home address is located, for instance, you can click the name and just move it along. Let's say we want it there. So that is how you reorder the columns. You click the name, move over. As you notice, it's already saved, okay? So I've shown you how to create the list, set the column titles. Now we're gonna, oh, and reorder the columns. Now we're gonna show you how to delete any columns you don't want. Let's say hypothetically you create a column called notes. You save it and then later on you decide actually I don't want that notes column in there. We go to the cog, list settings, scroll down, we find that notes column here, loads it up, scroll down and Yep, it's notes, double check, and simply just click delete. You get a pop-up message here. This column will be removed and all the data stored within the column will be permanently deleted. Are we sure we want to do this? Okay, let's go. And that is now gone. You can see it's not listed there. If we go back to our list to double check that, highlight. Get it, there we go, copy. Let's go back to our list. Is it there? No, it's gone. Okay, so the last thing I wanna show you is how to export this list to Excel. Let's say hypothetically you have all your clients in details in this list and you now want to use that information in some records or documentation later on. But we need that information taken out of SharePoint and into Excel. So all you simply do is go to export to Excel. It will download in the corner here. We'll go open. It's just on my other screen over here. So I'll just get it loaded for you and bring it over. Okay, so there you have it. All your information is in there in an Excel spreadsheet and you can simply save and use that information later. So in summary, I have taught you how to create the list, set the column titles, add the data, edit the column width, reorder the columns, delete columns and export the, and export the information to Excel. As a reminder, I'm gonna be producing more videos that show you how to um, customize and filter this list. So just keep an eye on those, they'll be um, out very, very soon. And I'll see you soon, take care, bye-bye.